Not just any Reaper. A human Reaper. Precisely. It appears the Collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the Reaper. What do the Collectors gain by turning humans into this... Reaper shell? They may be facilitating the Reaper equivalent of reproduction. Or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the Collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the Collectors provide the labor. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probability suggests they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers. Tools for the Reapers. They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. How many more humans do you think they'd try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being... created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. It's too big for our guns. Edie, find me a way to blow this thing to hell. The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse, and the Reaper to fall. 